To fight coronavirus and other diseases, we need new drugs. My brother Tom, a medical researcher, discovered something that might save a lot of lives. Tom discovered an unusual protein. He named it gelsalin. Turns out gelsalin reduces excess inflammation. Now, some inflammation is useful. Our own immune system creates it to fight off diseases. But too much inflammation is a killer. In COVID-19, what usually kills the patient is not the virus. In fact, as the patients get sicker, often the virus is disappearing anyway. It's the over-exuberant, highly excessive immune reaction that's destroying the lung. Dr. Mark Danubli was once Tom's assistant and protege. Now he speaks for Tom because several months ago, Tom had a sudden heart attack and died. A few years before, he'd come on my television show and pointed out the vast predominance of what gets products to patients comes from the private sector. Only the private sector has the resources and the skill sets to get the job done. Now this company, BioAegis, is trying to get the FDA's permission to give Tom's protein to people with diseases like pneumonia, sepsis, and coronavirus. Because when you're very sick, gelsalin levels go down and inflammation gets worse. We are not helpless here. The, the gelsalin that's depleted can be replaced Will replacing gel solids save lives by reducing inflammation? It did when BioEgis gave some to sick mice. The mice treated with some extra gel solid got better. More animals live, but it also improves what their lungs look like. That improved lung function should help human coronavirus patients. And protect the lung from injury and allow the patient to recover and get off the respirator and go back home and hopefully live a normal life. BioEgis spent millions getting through the FDA's first layers of tests. After the animal tests succeeded, they spent millions more studying its safety in hospital patients. They gave them big doses of gelsalin and the patients did fine. That was expected. Gelsalin's a natural protein after all. It's already in our blood. Now BioEgis is trying to raise more millions to fund tests that would convince the FDA that gelsalin improves outcomes for sick people. We were initially doing this before COVID-19. Now that COVID-19 is broken, and it's very possible, God willing, that we will get some approval from the Spanish agency in the next couple weeks.